G'day, it's RJ here from the Alive Dev Team and this is episode 9 of the Simple Mission Tutorial. In this episode I'm just going to look at the remaining uh, smaller modules and just go through those one by one. The first one is the AI Skill module. Now the AI Skill module will uh, affect any units that are um, on the map and it will change their skill settings so um, you won't get the really amazingly skilled AI that you get with the default armor settings. So if we just open up the module you can see we've got four presets, recruit, regular, veteran and expert and you just need to enter the, um, the factions that you want to so if you wanted to make Blue 4 and Op 4, it's just a comma separated list of factions. Um, or we can set a uh, custom skill which sets all the individual skill values. And then you just need to enter the factions in the custom skill. Like that. But I'll just set Let's say we set up for to recruit and blue for the veteran. And we might set up a little test over here on the salt flat. So we'll put a NATO rifle squad and we'll put a CSAT rifle squad. So we can see the, the OP4 units are attacking the blue 4 units. I can see the OP4 are getting cut down pretty quickly. And they're all dead. So yeah, the, the skill makes a big difference on the um, aiming accuracy and all those sort of settings. Okay, so next module is crew info. This just displays um, the current crew members of vehicle. Yep, so you can see that I've got crew info on the right hand side there. And the next module, dynamic weather. You can set uh, basically weather that changes dynamically. You can set uh, what the initial conditions will be. So I can set maybe stormy and it will um, change dynamically over the course of the mission. So you can see it's looking a little bit stormy. And that will, the weather will dynamically change over time. And the next module. A garbage collector. So this will um, clean up any dead or destroyed vehicles when players aren't around. So that's a good one for um, keeping performance under control. And next module player tags which just displays um, tags for the players. It's got a few options for display what you want to display and how um, the colors and things of the tags. And finally the view settings module. Now this gives um, players the chance to be able to change their view settings in the mission. So you can see when I bring up my menu I've now got the view settings option. If I click on that it will bring up the PDA where I can change uh, the terrain view distance and detail settings. I think that's pretty much everything for now and that covers most of the alive modules that will be available in RC1. So I hope you've enjoyed it and um, 
hopefully it will give you an idea of how you can use all the modules to create your own missions.